Redditors who do not have a romantic how we first met story with your significant other. How did you meet? Working at a residential treatment center for emotionally disturbed adolescents. There was a riot on campus. It took two shifts of staff to get the kids quieted down and back in bed. We were supposed to get off work at 11pm but were there until 1am. Guy I was working with was friends with my roommate. So after we got off, I said I'm going home to get drunk. Want to come? That was 42 years ago. We've been married for 37 years and have two adult children. He was drunk. An acquaintance and I went to pick him and another friend up to go out to a club. We've been together almost 15 and one stroke 2 years married 13. Even his proposal was not very romantic. We were in our backyard getting ready to barbecue and he asked me if I would marry him. First thing out of my mouth was are you sure? It totally works for us though. At least you didn't set yourself in fire accidentally after you proposed. Took months for the grass and hair to grow back. Not me but an old friend. Back in the 70s, my friend Shirley was at a bar late one night making a phone call in the back room on a pay phone, and some drunk butthole came stumbling in and took the phone from her, hung it up, then proceeded to make a call to someone else. She stood back and smacked him in the face. He fell flat on the floor and busted out laughing. That's how they met. A short bar fight I suppose lol. I always loved hearing that story when I drank with them. She passed away a few years back and was a very sweet woman. That definitely is not romantic but wow what an unlikely marriage lol. Craigslist. I was new in town. Didn't know many people. I put an ad up looking for someone to go explore and do weird crap. Like put googly eyes on things. She answered. We emailed back and forth a few times. Met. Hung out. It was really relaxed. Then about 3 weeks later we realized it was more than that. Dang. You found a lover on Craigslist. Meanwhile I can't even find a good quality sale. Online gaming. I lashed out publicly because I was emotional and they sent a message apologizing because they genuinely thought it was their fault I was angry. I cried. We talked. And we started talking because guildies were supposed to get along. Gamers rise up. Met at a homeless shelter. We hit it off. Got back on our feet. Got a place together. Getting married. You found love in a homeless place. Added my wife on Facebook 11 years ago because I thought she was hot. She popped up in a friend's pictures and I was like dang. Nice and now I wake up in the same bed as her and I say dang. Nice every single day. Dang. Nice. My now wife got crap faced at New Year's Day party and confessed her crush on me. She then persistently tried to coerce a very sober and uncomfortable me to sleep with her which I declined. Called her the next day and asked her on a proper date. That was almost 7 years ago and we've been happily married 3 years. Met my GF at a New Year's Eve party. We were both super drunk. I may have blurted out my life story too. I came back with her to her apartment. After sobering up, I decided to get naked and crawl into her bathtub. I passed out, but woke up with a blanket on me and a pillow under my head. She sent me a message asking if I was okay. I asked her out for coffee. The rest is history I guess. After sobering up, I decided to get naked and crawl into her bathtub. I have to question your level of sobriety at this point. At work, she was really shy and I thought she wanted to murder me. I still think that, but at least now she has my life insurance. I don't know why, but sadly my wife never appreciates that joke. I was donating blood and I hit it off with the lady next to me. She seemed to like my weird sense of humor and I think our blood bags touched. She tripped on the gutter, while everyone around her helped her. I just stood there trying to contain my laugh. She still tells this story to other people up to this day. She tripped and you fell. That's romantic. I was eating tacos in a mall food court. He walked by me and I thought he was cute but then I started choking on my taco and he looked at me weird and walked away. My friend with me went and got his number for me. 7 years ago. He told me he thought I was laughing at him. Thanks Taco Bell. Met my husband on plenty of fish. I had an account my friend and I used to troll people when we were bored, used my own picture, and he seemed decent so I told him what was up with my account. He thought it was funny and asked me on a date. 
day we scheduled to meet up my appendix exploded and was in the IQ for 2 weeks. Okay, rescheduled once I got home. His GPS directed him to my house by driving through a river. We lived in Florida at the time so mud, sea kids and alligators were a concern. Police had to come save him and escorted him to my house. We still laugh about it. My wife and I met on OkCupid. I used to feel kind of embarrassed about this until I realized that now there are married couples out there who met on Tinder. Who knows, in a few more years Tinder will probably seem old fashioned, and all the young people will be meeting up on findasetofgenitals.com. I met my wife on Craigslist, I'm not embarrassed by finding love to line, but I am still embarrassed that it was Craigslist. Match.com she sent me an email and I waited a day to decide if the $20 commitment was worth it. It was and we've been married a little over a decade. We both joined a group to play D&D together. He was a halfling rogue. I was a human barbarian. In the first session he climbed on my shoulders to spear some foe in the throat and then on my next turn I attempted to assist him up onto the roof of the small hut next to us. I rolled a natural one and basically punted him into a wall for some ridiculous amount of damage. Oops, we've been married for 5 years and have 2 kids, well, almost, I'm very pregnant right now. My parents have a pretty great one. My mom was a 19 year old intern at this big company. She was tasked with inventorying a warehouse. She found a box of screws with no part number. She asked around for days. Nobody knew anything about these screws. She was getting frustrated. Finally, somebody directed her to go see this particular guy who was kind of famous for being a reclusive, if brilliant dickhead. She walks into his office, holds up a screw, and asks him I've asked everybody. No one knows. What is this? My dad looks at her and says, absolutely deadpan, it's a screw. She called him and butthole and stormed out. They were married 5 years later. Their 40th wedding anniversary is next August. They also got engaged in a Taco Bell. My parents are great at not romantic stuff. Find out if she saved it. The screw that led to you. Not me but one of my friends told me about how their parents knew a couple who found each other around the bin truck. So basically one day a guy went to take back his metal can from the street but there was a big problem. The garbage worker had accidentally made a tear in the bin bag and ripped it open, spreading shoots everywhere on the pavement. So next week the upset man waited for the same workers to show up to get some explanations. Turns out that garbage worker was in fact a woman of the same age, which was really rare in those times, 70s 80s. Charmed by her uniqueness, the dude decided to share numbers. They dated and we all know the rest. Not the nicest way to meet someone if you ask me haha but quite a nice story. I frick up your trash bin. You frick up my booty. This girl probably. We had Spanish class together and we were both shy. So when we picked partners for projects assignments we were always the last two who didn't have partners. Man he said not romantic stuff. I always go with the sweet lovey dovey story that my husband and I have been best friends since we were 11 and 12. The truth is, the first day I met him I choked him out. He was sitting behind a couch with his back to the couch, and I reached over the back and grabbed him. I don't know why I did that, just a stupid kid thing I guess. But apparently it worked. We are 28 now and have been married for 3 of those years, even though we have been a couple since 17 and 18. Stockholm Syndrome at its finest. Badminton class in college. I was beating him badly. He finally realized I was a competitive freak and not some little girl who didn't care if she won or not. My dating litmus has always been like this. Especially air hockey. I'm a competitive man. I don't mind losing. But show me what you got. Don't play embarrassed. Or half assed. Play to win. Much more fun that way regardless of who the victor is. Nothing hotter than a self confident. Go get a woman. He was my mom's upstairs neighbor and my mom forbid me from hanging with him as she was sure he was a bad influence. I was staying with her for a bit. 13 years and 2 kids later, we're all a big happy family. The way you phrase this makes him sound substantially older tbh. She first met me while dating my best friend and I was with another girl at the time. Years later, my best friend convinced me to hang out with her, called her up and invited her to Buffalo Wild Wings where he and I were hanging out. Since we had both already eaten, 
We walked across the parking lot to a bar. I played darts with friends while drinking and talking to her a bit. Then after the bar closed, we went back to our cars, started making out, decided there wasn't enough room inside and fricked with her bent over the hood of my car in Buffalo Wild Wings parking lot at 4am. It was a magical night we'll tell our grandchildren about one day. I assume this is a tourism ad for New Jersey. Tinder. I had been dumped a few weeks earlier and wanted to just do me and not worry about anyone else for a bit. Well that got old fast so I downloaded the app and started swiping. We matched about a day later and spent a few days texting through the app before she gave me her number and then about a week later we met up for drinks. I was poor at the time, had just started a new job and missed the first pay period so we had one drink and then I made an excuse to leave because I couldn't afford anymore. We walked out and I gave her a hug saying bye and we should meet up again soon. We will be celebrating our two year in December. Just do me. That got old fast. Relatable. My husband and I met while he was dating one of my friends in high school. Whoops. To my credit, they broke up after she cheated on him multiple times, so I don't feel like I violated girl code too badly. Girl code is void if the girl is a cheating piece of trash. My dog got her dog pregnant. I don't know how those two met because he's often chilling in my fenced backyard, without a leash. Only a collar with my number in it, so he must have escaped and had a good time and come back all in under one hour. One day she called me and yelled at me for not neutering him and let him roam freely. I yelled back at her for not spaying her dog and told her that my boy isn't walking around on the streets freely. We had a big argument about everything. My dog is the only one who could have gotten hers pregnant so I couldn't just do nothing. We talked it out and fell in love shortly after the puppies came. Movie script animated even. I met my wife at trivia at a local restaurant. She was cute, and we met amongst a group of friends. I found out she was working at Subway. She was a senior in high school, and I was a freshman in college. I stopped by that Subway one day with the intention of flirting, and managed to a bit, until I realized she was buttering me up to get a ride home. Excited, I eagerly agreed. Then, I found out she was needing to get home to get ready for a date with another guy. We met again when she came to my university later that year. I was going to the comedy show with Carlos Mencia, and I was hammered drunk. Lo and behold, I stumbled drunkenly into a group of girls, and I nearly toppled her. We proceed to have a great night, and everything from there was history. Not particularly romantic though, lol. Nice. I will give that a 7 stroke 10 on the non-romantic scale. Manhunt.com Hey, wanna trade BJs? Sure, the gays had it figured out long before Tinder and smartphones. 11 years together and celebrating our second wedding anniversary next week. I was shy in high school. Senior year, I decided I needed to take initiative or I'd end up graduating without having had a girlfriend for my entire high school career. I made a list of three girls that I wanted to introduce myself to. The next day, one of the girls was behind me as we all kinda gathered around the door to wait for the bell to ring at the end of our last period of the day. I turned around and asked her if she knew what the homework was. I knew there wasn't any. The bell rang as she was trying to answer. So we kinda had to start walking together for her to answer me. Then we started talking and ended up walking to our cars together. We did that for the rest of the week. Then I asked her to see a movie with me that weekend. Now we've been together 12 years, are married, and have two daughters. Some booter call agreement FWD was going around at work as a joke. I filled it out and gave it to the receptionist and she then filled out her portion. Then the next day I filled her out. 14 years and 2 kids later all is well. Sounds like an hour nightmare nowadays. I dated his roommate. We technically met on my second date with said roommate at a dive bar. But I don't think he said more than 2 words to me after introductions. He was trying to be respectful to his roommate. We almost didn't get together because it's not cool to date your friend's exes. There was a little drama at first but we've been together 10 years. Married for 5. Still friends with the roommate. His wife is perfect for him. And our kids play together now. Apparently we had met in two separate classes but I didn't remember him. We finally connected for real on Yik Yak. LOL. 
because I was a sad person and he knew what that was like and helped me work through it. Months later, I finally gave him a chance. Been almost 3 years now. Me and my husband met in a threesome I had with an ex. I did open relationships at the time. The sexual chemistry between us was very obvious from the jump. And over the years we became best friends that had an on again off again sexual friendship whenever we were both single. 8 years later, we both found ourselves single again and finally admitted that we were ridiculously in love with each other. Been together and happily monogamous ever since. We met on Omegle. This was before they added video chat, so it's slightly more romantic than you might imagine, but not by much. Trudging through a sea of dongs to find someone worthwhile isn't the most romantic story to tell. Depends on your definition of romantic. I was 19 on a lad's holiday and she was on a similar enterprise with a group of girls, both from the UK and went to Molia, Greece. We had a week long romance and then went our separate ways for 4-5 years before I ended up doing some temp work down the road from where I thought she lived. Dropped her a message and we met up for a drink when I was on lunch. Really hit it off and we're moving in together come January after 5 years of happiness most of the time anyways xd, and 9 years after I first met her. I asked her out in high school, she rejected me, 8 stroke 9 years later her boyfriend slapped me, I told him he'd regret it, I stole his girlfriend, and now I'm marrying her. 0 100 real quick. My friend invited me to get tacos with two guys that lived in our dorm. I almost said no because the night before, she went to her party and made out with a guy on her snapchat story that she knew I was going for. I decided to be the bigger person and go. I've been dating one of the guys we ate with for almost 3 years now. She tried to steal him from me as well. Haha. <laughs> we are no longer friends. We matched on tinder and she drunkenly sent me a message say that my furniture looked nice from the back window as a dare. I drunkenly replied and we ended up going on a date a few days later. 5 years later we have 3 kids and are happily married. I was involved in a group activity and there was this cute girl. We smiled and would have brief comments to each other. Asked some guys for her full name. Eventually found her phone number and had some good conversations. Kept smiling and saying hi in the group. Then I called and asked her out. Went to pick her up. The apartment door opened. And my date was the other strawberry blonde in my group. Same hair. Same look. A little shorter but also very cute. I almost said oh. It's you. Semicolon I certainly thought that. Date went well. My roommate and I laughed for a half hour when I got home. We've been married for years now. I was walking through a crowded beer garden to meet my longtime female friend who already had a table saved and insisted I had to meet her friend. I spotted her friend immediately and she spotted me even though we'd never met. I proceeded to sit down and make small talk, but I was enamored. I instigated everything, which I had never done before in my life. I was completely taken by her. Yada 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 we made out and spent the next week together, avoiding all outside responsibilities and careers. 3 years and thousands of dollars in legal fees later and I just narrowly avoided jail time because of her lies. She is the meanest person I've ever met. Hitler and Stalin had more gumption than her. A true sociopath. Met her on a dating site. Thought she was the cutest girl I'd ever seen and decided to try messaging her but wasn't really expecting her to message back. Best decision ever. Now married and we have a beautiful little girl together. I met met my wife during a fraternity party in our dirty, prone to flooding, basement while I was wearing a pink onsi with the foot is attached. That was 9 years ago. I got his number from a classmate so I could ask him if he knew where I could find weed. Didn't even know his name at the time. Dating site. After having great conversation on our first date, the second date it resulted in me having a severely upset stomach from spicy food earlier in the day and her finding out that she has the same name as my sister. Amazingly there was a third date and we're still together 14 months later. I've posted before, but was at my favorite bar and I approached this girl. Me. I see you have some chili cheese fries. Her. Yes. Would you like some? Me. Yes. Been married for almost 15 years now. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.